Okay, and as far as the setup, we're looking for folder 10, user reducer, we want to grab the starter, and we're looking for user reducer. And essentially, if you take a look at the file and folder structure, you'll see that we have only one file. So I want you to grab that starter in the app JSX. For now, I have commented it out because I want to showcase something. So essentially, grab the starter. And if you navigate to the file, you'll notice that it's one of the projects we worked on before. And effectively, we covered that in use state when we talked about the arrays. So this is the same exact example where we're importing the data. We set this using use state. So that's our default one. And then we display all the people. And then we have an option to remove a specific person or clear the list. Like I said, I purposely picked this example because I think it's going to be easier to grasp all of the use reducer concepts since you don't need to worry about this functionality. We already covered it before. And let's start with a tiny challenge. I want you to add to this one a reset functionality. Now, don't worry, we're not going to do that right away with user reducer. We'll simply do it by just adding a function. And in that function, essentially, I want to set back the state to an array. And once you have the function, I want you to set up a button. And once the user clicks the button, then we set basically the empty array to all of the items. And I want you to render that button conditionally. A hint, you'll most likely use the ternary operator. So notice two options, either I remove them one by one. And once I have the clear list, I have now reset button, which essentially sets it back to all of the items, or we can simply clear it and the same deal. The moment I have empty list, I want to have a reset button which essentially sets it back to our default people array. So first let's work on that and then we'll implement user reducer. Essentially, I just wanted to add a little bit more functionality just so it's more interesting when we cover use reducer. Okay, I'm done with my big speech. Let me navigate here, use reducer. Hopefully I'm in the correct one. Yep, it's in the star. And essentially, let me just set up the function. I think it's going to be faster if I just copy and paste. I'm looking for the function name, which usually is the most hardest thing in the programming. So let's go here with a reset list. And instead of empty array, what do I need to do? Well, I already have the data, correct? So I just pass here. This is an empty one. This just resets to our original array. And then we want to keep on moving, keep on moving. I have this button. Now I need to set up a functionality where once the list is empty, I'll display one button. And if I have some values, then I'll have the clear one. How do we do that? Well, we go here with the curlies and what is going to be our condition people and length. Correct? Let me double check. Yep. That's my state value. So don't set this as data. That's a little bit different. That's our original array. And here we're looking for people. And I'll say if it's less than one, I have two options. What is my first one? Well, that's a reset one, correct? Because this is the one that is displayed if it's less than one, then I want to reset. And I'll work on that one in a second. And now let me check if this is false. Basically, if I have some items, I want to display this button. So let me cut this one out. Okay, good. That's my first one. And basically, I'll use the same structure. So I'll just copy and paste over here. I just need to change some values around where the text inside of the button is not going to be clear, it's going to be reset. And instead of clearing the list, what do we need to do? Yep, it's correct, we need to go with reset. So now check it out. Again, two options. I think I'll pick this one just because it's faster. And notice now I can reset now. Of course, I'm showing this because I already have the complete application in my app.js. My apologies. Notice here I have the star. I will, I guess, remove the final. There's no need. Hopefully, I didn't make some 
egregious errors. Let me save. Notice that the result is exactly the same, so that's already a good start. I can remove, yep, I can reset, and I can also clear. So that was the first challenge, and up next we'll get to know use reducer.